All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube uh, if you're watching this later on. For our next deck here, we have a donation deck for Gruel Dinosaurs. Um, so this deck looks pretty sweet, and uh, Joy donated for this one, saying that, that uh, they beat us with this deck the other day. And so let's try it out ourselves. Um, you know, so like what we're trying to do here is, you know, we have our, our two drops with a Tepic Huntmaster and Drover the Mighty that can uh, help us cast our um, dinosaurs earlier. And we just kind of have like all the greatest hits. You know, we got Death Gorge Scavengers that can um, help against uh, exile some creatures from graveyards against like Sultai or maybe some spells against like uh, Nexus and so on. And it hits pretty hard. You know, like when it's attacking, it's usually attacking as a 4 3. Not so bad for a 3 mana card. We got Rip Jaws, which are awesome against Aggro, just a, a good quality card. Um, Red Sword Alpha, Carnage Tyrant, you know, like these are like the, the greatest hits uh, from Ixalan. We even got a big Galta at the top end because it looks it looks awesome. And we even have this Territorial Allosaurus that we can uh, either play it as a four mana five five, which is a really good rate, or we can kick it um, and have it fight another creature whenever it enters. Uh, similar to that card uh, from the newest set that whenever it enters, it, it fights something. Uh, you know, so even though that's seven mana, we can get there a little easier with the uh, Tepic Hunt Master, the Drover. Domri can help us add mana there as well. And we hopefully don't run out of gas with Commune with Dinosaurs, um, which is like the Ancient Stirrings for Dinosaurs. So yeah, Ravager Room, that's the card I was thinking of. So here we go. Let's smash some people with some dinosaurs. Ow. Okay, loves dinosaurs. They're his favorite. He's like, rawr. Rawr, okay. Rawr. Yeah, Hawkeye's the 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three dino token. Alright, starting with Mono Blue. Um, it can certainly be tough for us with them being on the play. Yeah, them on the play with, you know, Herald into Obsession. This is going to be tough. I'm just trying it. Just trying it. Don't have it. Don't have it. No, they had the protection too. Rough. All right, let's go with Drover. No! That puts the counter on it. Dang it. I wanted them to like tap out with like essence or like the other one. Uh, I should have just played the land. I wanted them to like tap out and then think that we wouldn't have like a spell and then uh, us play the land in shock. Oh uh, no. The counter. That 1 1 counter. My graveyard. Creature I gained two life, right? Yeah. Man, that, that plus one, plus one counter.
haste. So we need to draw like Regisaur Alpha. Something like that. I don't, I don't even know if that's like going to be enough damage. That's certainly not going to be enough damage. Kind of had all the all the cards. I could have had the shock that one turn. But they may have just had the dive down anyway, because you know they, they had an extra mana up, so they may they may have just had that dive down earlier. Um. Oh yeah, Galta, Galta. That's the card that I, I need to pray for. Is Galta, not Reggie. So we have two options. We can try to play a whole lot more removal spells. We can play like the Lava Coils and Collisions um, and try to kill stuff. Or maybe we just go Spell Breakers and just try to play a ton of creatures. No, we, we probably need to kill stuff. I do like Spell Breakers though. But we, I may cut those Spell Breakers. Um, just kind of looking at these. I don't want Domri. Domri's the definite out. Um, maybe not with Spellbreaker. This is still 63. No, Carnage Tyrant's good, because, like, we're going to, like, ramp into it with these, and, and it can have, like, haste and stuff with Huntmaster. But maybe we don't need four. Interim one. And then maybe this is too much removal. All right, I guess I'll cut two and a Death Gorge Scavenger. I suppose. Could be playing too much removal. We'll see. Need more lands. All right, this is doable. Uh, don't really need that one. We need a, a land, so. Okay. We're going to be playing this commune on turn one. So we're. Keeping that commune doesn't really help us. Whew! But the last card down was a land, maybe. I guess I think it rearranges actually. Play Drover. Because then next turn Drover gets to attack and I can attack with. I can play both of these. <laughs> nah, Hawk Hawkeye's too scared to, to ever leave the room. So 
Next turn, you know, we can play like Scavenger plus Scavenger and then attack with all three of these. The Drover will be a 3-3. Three, three. Hey, DJ Polly B, doing good. Mono Blue Opponent did have turn one obsession both games. So this is a, a little rough. We were on a six card hand. So ETB, exile that. Um, give it plus one, plus one. Haste it. Attack. Exile that. Give another plus one, plus one. Keep this Terramander from like ever adapting. Now, can we draw like that Carnage Tyrant? That'd be nice. Unfortunately, our commune, we just put all these like good spells at the bottom. Oh, Savage Dom. Um, we'll see if they have a dive down. Nice, no dive down. No, 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 no. Go to combat. Oh, I can just attack with this thing. They they block the hunt master. They take eight. No, I probably shouldn't attack with that. Right, that thing dies. Uh oh. I did not consider that thing dying when I made that attack. Now I wish I would have only attacked with the Drover. Where's our Carnage Tyrants? Yeah, so I, I no longer control a dinosaur, so that's why I died. We need Carnage Tyrants like are out here. Uh, it's not even an out anymore. How do they have all their Tempest Gens? Dang. That was a disappointing game. I didn't play either game partic like I didn't I didn't play either game perfectly. Certainly made it made a mistake both games. Oh, love this hand. But let's go to the next match. This hand's real good. Um, hopefully our, our hot master survives because we got we have turn three haste ripjaw turn four haste ri regisaur. Oh, Grixis was five one. Sorry, I didn't end up do that. Oh man, and then haste carnage tyrant. Okay, I'm trying to update this over here. There we go. This is going to do some damage. My current favorite deck in standard is probably the Naya Legends deck. I have been really enjoying that Grixis deck the last, you know, playing that the last two days. 
It's been really fun. Alright, they gotta have Gates Ablaze. I mean, if they do, they're kind of dead. They don't kill Ripjaw. I mean, I guess they, they can go down to one. This deck can hit hard. Um, we did... We had a couple spicy bolus plays. Uh, a good one was... Um, boom. Um, our opponent was like at six and or our opponent was at eight and we already had a bolus in play we had a, we had planeswalker and creature and so we used the planeswalker to get their uh two two haste creature again this is against mono red burn and they're at eight and um so then we got to attack for six and then we flipped the the creature one and got their viachino pyromancer to do the other two that was pretty cool all right, Gates. I think I want these Cinder Vines. I think they're going to be better than Shocks. Um, I want the Haste Creatures. Um, I don't really want Terra... No, Territorial is fine. Scavenger is a little on the weak side. Savage Stomp's going to be out. Um... The Rams are pretty tough. Like, we don't really have a good answer to Ram. Like, I don't even think... I don't think Savage Stomp is really that good of an answer to Ram. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hope that they're not having early Rams, I think. Cut Strike. Okay. And then, should I play, like, Vivian? Or should I just play this the Savage Stomp? I could, like, maybe Colossus. Colossus could maybe, like, help us get through a Ram, actually. Like, the Ram blocks. Honestly, Colossus is probably good. Yeah, I think I like Colossus. Let's try this. I don't I don't care about uh Exile and Gate Colossus too much. I don't think that will really come up. I don't like this this game, like the game like the cards that we're gonna play, the cards our opponent's gonna play, like that's not gonna be something that matters too much, I don't think. I, I would be shocked if that ever happens. And end up mattering. I don't have two green for old Ripjaw next turn. I'm gonna try to curve out though. We'll see if we just top deck the green source. Well, that's nice having double plaza. Yeah, turn three gates of blaze, turn four circuitous route. Their deck does not do anything better than that. Stop. Not you. You. With double plaza? That is just their their actual best beginning. We'll see what they have to follow up. Not so bad. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that may like Colossus just more than Cinder Vines for us with this deck. I'm going to hopefully just draw this land and be able to go Alpha Alpha.
Well, good news is our opponent is not going to... Well, they should not have a hand like this uh, next game. I, I can't really imagine their deck doing anything better than what they've done this game. That's as good as it gets for them. As good as it gets. Let's get rid of these cinder vines. They can have their stupid enchantment, whatever. Um, I want these things. Do I want Savage Stomp? I'm going to play Vivian instead of Savage Tomp. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, Vivian can destroy the enchantment. We will keep. I don't have a good turn three, unfortunately. Um, and I'm, I'm going to pay two life to, to shock on turn two. I'm going to have the Memorial of Folly in tapped in case we do draw uh, something to do on turn three. I don't want to just, like, go with... You know, we don't need to save the two life, basically. Because, un unfortunately, the Huntmaster doesn't reduce the cost of Domri. So we could still use the Colossus to save our Huntmaster if we need to. Let's do it. Start hitting hard. Got opponent. That's not the worst. Yeah, we got more dinos. Boom, boom, boom. Go, Reggie, go. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. I think that's it. Man, these dinosaurs can stomp. They can stomp. I've been pretty I've been real impressed with this Huntmaster. This Otepic Huntmaster has been awesome for us. Stomping achieved. And I love that the Gruel land is called it's Stomping Ground. It's so perfect. I think Hawkeye, can you do a dino? Rawr. Hawkeye didn't rawr. <laughs> 10 Reggies from Mirror March. A little slower. I don't think I'm in the mood to mulligan this, though. Nice. Good draw. An 80 stream? I don't really have 80s clothes. No, my Otepic Huntmaster. Whatever will I do?
Give me this carny tea. Against Esper control? Yes, please. Um, I mean, Domri is like our best play. Should I play? The question is if I should play Domri into the open counter spell. I don't think I do. Hey, stop. What are you doing? Why are you... Why are you being mean? I'm gonna bite this pen. I'm gonna bite something. Don't bite me. I need to get to the mouse. What are you doing? You wanna give high fives? You're being weird. Take action. Attack. <laughs> you know, getting getting late in the night, and so he's getting close to food time. All right, so we can play hasted carnage tyrant, but you know, like they're certainly looking for Kaya's rats. They just went three on top. I'm going with. Um, I'm going with Domri right now, while they're tapped out, where we know we can resolve Domri. Oh, yes, you want us, nice. They Very got nice it. Indeed. We got some more creatures. Um, I should probably grab a land. Yeah, I need to just grab a land just in, in case they kill my hunt master. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe we need to grab Galta. Oh, you haven't seen the last of me. More tyrants. I don't think there's really enough creatures that, for Domri in the, the Naya Legends deck. It's too many non creature spells. This matchup's gonna get better for us after sideboarding whenever we don't have like these crappy cards. I guess we're not completely dead yet. And Teferi takes over. Very, very slow, painful death. All right, Vivians, Cindervines, Spellbreakers. Bunch of good cards. Let's get, where's this Stomp out? Um, strikes and Shocks. And Galta. Fortunately, it's, it's unreliable that we have like the other creatures alive for Galta. There we go. Let's try this. Come on, dinos. Uh, 
Um, I said you can get the get this Grixis discard. You need to start. You need to keep filling this stuff out for YouTube. Um, let's see over here. I wouldn't think it would be that difficult for our opponent to sideboard against just a, you know, creature deck. But, whoops. Wrong button for me. There we Just got back from Wednesday Magic. I'm so over mono blue. Um, oh, sorry to hear that, Nikki B. I can just take the stomping ground. Take that, I don't think it really matters. For us, like the, the two damage, I don't think the two damage matters, that's what I'm saying. That's what that's what I meant to be saying. That was unfortunately that was a lot of lands. The spellbreakers will have haste. Um and you, either way, so you know, like there's like a wrath effect. The spellbreakers will still just come in and have haste. Need more lands. Oh! Didn't. Didn't haste it. Should have dealt two extra damage. They would have killed the 4 3. Should be at 10. That's certainly important. That two damage is definitely important. Them being at three would be a lot better for us. Yeah, I misclicked there. Our right, we're back down to three. Alright, let's attack. I'm expecting a... Get that inside out of here. I'm kind of expecting absorb from them for how they shocked in like that. So I don't really want to play something into absorb like this, right? Like we, you know, like we don't really need to let them gain three life. Like they have to Kaya's Wrath here, which will mean like they can't absorb. And now we kill him with a Easter. Boom. 
All right, got him. Um, do I want Lightning Strike instead of Cinder Vines because of Hostage Taker? Cinder Vines would only do two damage, and they were at three. Like if we wanted to blow up the their thing. Yeah, they could have Thief of Sanity as well. I I don't know I don't think it's a probable probability because like they're like they're certainly wanting like Kai's Wrath and stuff. I don't think you usually bring in Thief of Sanity when you want Kai's Wrath also. But it's a possibility. Basically like this this can destroy us Kanta. If we, you know, don't have this we're it's gonna be a lot harder for us to destroy us Kanta. Um, but Cindervine's late game doesn't have the reach that Lightning Strike does, but it, it has higher potential. Maybe we do like a combination. Let's do like one Cindervine's two strike. I kind of like either one. Like I can see the, the merit for either one. I don't think Cindervine's has so much higher potential that's that's worth playing all of them over strikes especially since we've seen hostage shaker and it's likely that they play hostage shaker again this is the one time where you you really wish hunt master was a uh, this is the time where you'd really want hunt master to be um a regular mana creature where it could play the Domri on four, then the Reggie on five, and then the Carnage Tyrant on six. Or sorry, Domri on three. Uh, but it cannot cast Domri on three. And they do they do end up having Thief of Sanity. And I, I have nothing. It would have been great to be able to play Domri. But the great part about Hot Master is that haste. Because we're going to have hasty Carnage Tyrants the next two turns. Thief of Sandy just gets bodies to be able to block Carnage Tyrant, though. What would they take over Territorial Allosaurus here? Wouldn't Allosaurus just be awesome? I don't want to bring in Collision, assuming that they are going to bring in, um, you know, Collision doesn't do anything against Hostage Shaker, but like you know, Thief and Lyra. Could see Lyra. I, if I was on their shoes, like I wouldn't, I would not play Thief in this matchup. But you know, obviously they did. Um, but you know, I wouldn't want to assume that they would have Thief, because I wouldn't play Thief. Better be careful. I'm all right, nutter. All right, let's get the sixth land. Ooh, that's nice. Yes, very nice indeed.
Keep up. Sorry, I'm late. That's risky. So I can have Tyrant kill to fairy. That's probably just the best play. Disdainful Stroke, countering Registore Alpha. Would be kind of rough. Cast Down could also, like, kill the Alpha. We could have either of those. This is hardly my worst defeat. I'll just see myself out then. <laughs> Could have just done that earlier. I certainly think our opponent has a disdainful stroke. Or maybe not. It's cast. It was cast down the whole time. Okay. Still rather get that cast down. Boom. Guess they don't have an answer to Reggie. In the backup. And we are stomping. Still stomping. Two and one. With our stompy stomp dinosaurs. Dino smash. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, some rough hands. Rough hands. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant's still a great tool against Esper, even with Kaya's Wrath and stuff. Like, they, they have answers, of course, but it's still a very good tool. Arclight Phoenix is going to be a little bit of a challenge here. On our five card hand. Their hand's looking pretty good. Looks like a reasonable seven. Attacking for five this turn. No, I don't really do the rank stuff. see if we can race. Um, we're going to need, like, you know, Registrar Alpha or something like that. Is there a way to make some good combo decks out of the starter arena decks? Um, yeah, it's kind of just grinding it out until you can unlock cards to build the deck, so you can kind of... Oh, Crackling Drake? That's bad. Can we 
possibly do enough damage next turn. They're taking nine right now. I don't know, might as well just play our cards. No, no changes to the deck list from yesterday. Gotta have any spell. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically just grinding, like, you know, find, find like, whatever deck you want to play and just kind of grind in and get towards those cards. You know, uh, get your, like, open your, like, free pack every day with your gold. Um, playing limited, which is drafting, and uh, with your gold is also a, a really good option. So I have... few cards that kill some flyers with the coils the collisions and the vivians domri's coming out um i like my fight stuff i like scavenger our deck's not that bad in this matchup we just you know had nothing but ripjaw raptors after moldify um ripjaw raptors really not that bad in this matchup either Like, I honestly don't really see anything here I, I don't like. I, I like all these cards. Maybe we don't need six shocks and lightning strikes. Maybe we'll cut the shocks. I do like... Now, Cindervine's not, not good enough. I do like... Um, like, you got to be able to kill the 2-2. Two -two. Um... Maybe Allosaurus. Maybe it is just a Ripjaw. And an Allosaurus. I don't know. I think I, 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 think I like those. I guess I'm going to cut a strike. Oh, this is tough. Maybe I'm not supposed to play the Vivians. Weird. Shock Shock is better at killing their things than Strike is. Um, but I just had Strike because of the extra damage going upstairs. Um, but yeah, if we are, you know, if the main goal is to kill Electromancer, Shock does do a better job of that. Okay, we know that we have got a ton of lands down at the bottom of the library now. Yeah, see now I can't I can't strike and Regisaur Alpha, or sorry sorry I can't strike and Huntmaster. Yeah, the strike is kind of annoying here, isn't it? That is kind of annoying. is just so much mana. I just gotta kill it. Yep, we beat Esper Control. Yep, we are 2-1. and one. And... We're down a game here against Phoenix.
Three, three. Fights. I, I want these all to be four power. Be able to get through crackling drakes. Yeah, we could have. I guess we could have protected Reggie from Coil. That's okay. We have. We have the Hot Master that gives our creature haste anyway. The Ripjaw haste. All right, maybe I should be playing Shocks, especially on the draw. What if I don't play Vivian? that weird? Just kind of go with these burn spells instead. I think I'm going to not go Vivian. I have these collisions that get rid of Flyer. Like, Vivian's not very good against Arclight Phoenix. It's good against Crackling Drake, but not Phoenix. I like the collisions, the coils. Like this is like this is gonna be a really fast match. Like our deck is really our deck plays really fast. Vivian's a lot of mana. Okay, yeah, Joy of Sets got Vivian. Cool. It's Joy of Sex, yeah. We don't need no Vivian. As you can tell here, five's a lot of mana. Where's our lands now? No, Cinder Vines is not any good. Ugh. Seriously? Seriously, Duck? The only time Cinder Vines could possibly be worth a card is if you play it on turn two, and you have other things that you want to be doing on turn two over. Like, I'd rather play a mana creature on turn two over the Cinder Vines. If you ever have it on, like, turn three, four, five, like, it's just not a card you're going to want to be playing then. Deck did not help us out. Yeah, right? Murmur Mystic was just an awesome card for the opponent to have. Just awesome. Yeah, you know, we had what answer to one Phoenix. We had like an answer to a, a Crackling Drake here. If that was like their four mana play. Murmur Mystic. Just taken over. I don't really re regret the keep. I, th I think our keep was fine. Um, 
It was a, you know, it was just a two lander, but we had the mana creature and we were on the draw. Um, we're only a 23 land deck, but we also have the four communes. So it's the communes kind of count as lands. So it's, it's like we're playing like the 27 with the communes. Um, but yeah, we just kind of drew a bunch of spells, didn't draw any lands. Unfortunate. I liked the deck though. The deck was pretty good. I think so. Mono, we so we lost to mono blue also, but um, I made a mistake both games, and our opponent had awesome hands with the mono blue deck. Uh, you know, turn turn to um, Curse Obsession both games with with a bunch of other stuff. Um, but I did make a mistake both times. I'm not sure if we win, even if I didn't make those mistakes. Um, yeah. I liked. The, I would keep that that same hand with the the two mana on the draw with the hunt master and with some good interaction with you know like the the collision and some other burn spells and stuff. Um, yeah, just didn't go our way. But pretty fun deck. The spellbreaker in the sideboard isn't one that I don't think I would have even thought of or put in, but it was really nice. The Spellbreaker against the Esper deck, just being like that haste creature. It was like right at the right spot on the curve too. Um, that's a really good sideboard uh, innovation, I think. that was a That's a good card there. I like that quite a bit. I'm not sold on two shocks, four lightning strikes for the main, especially the two shocks. I'm not really sold on those. Like they're just pretty low impact against a lot of decks, but you know they would have been you know like they're good against mono blue, kind of thing. Um, Domri's okay. Honestly, Domri was fine. Domri was pretty good for us. Honestly, Vivian's tough in this deck. Like Vivian just costs so much mana, and with hunt, our main mana creature is Huntmaster. And with Huntmaster not not being able to get to Vivian, that's tough. I honestly just kind of want some land war elves. That's what I think we're missing. Like I would rather these shocks be land war elves. No, Domri Domri is fine. We were on the draw a lot. Yeah, we roasted it to fairy with that that haste on the Carnage Tyrant. Um, Thunderheart Migration is two mana if you reveal, reveal a dinosaur. It's usually three. It goes down to two. Uh, I, and I, I liked how the Huntmaster and Drover played in our deck. Um, okay, yeah, the three mana dino, the mana ramps, uh, whenever it takes damage... I, I'm not I've played that card a decent amount and I've never been too impressed with it I think the opponent can play around it uh, pretty well and um, you kind of, you really need to make it work like you really need to like have like your own um, damage spells and then even then just the two three body isn't that important in standard I've kind of like realized that with militia bugler and stuff too like just three mana two three is just not not a good enough body not aggressive enough Um But no, I liked Domri. Um, I thought the Domri was pretty good. Honestly, just playing the Domri and minusing, getting some more dinos. You certainly need to have uh, a real... You, you do have to have a lot of cards that help you find uh, Ripjaw, Registor, Carnage Tyrant. Like, you know, you need to you need to hit these. You need that that card advantage. So Domri does help with that. Um, and so does Commune. I, I liked Commune. And, um And those, but yeah, we're not playing a lot of a lot of lands. We're not trying to. Like Vivian at five mana is honestly kind of tough for our deck, but it's pretty cool. 
So there we go. So thanks so much for the donation, Joyv. Thank you so much. Uh, Gruel Dinosaurs, pretty nice. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, but thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.